Oh yeah, been waiting all week for this. Got my work done. Time to relax. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys. You about ready? Huh? What day is it? It's Friday. Funk. Okay. Um, yeah. Pretty sure we've all been there when we need to get ready in a hurry. So I partnered with IGK Hair on this video to share with you guys my glow up routine in a hurry. So let's go ahead and jump to that. So yeah, it's kind of like a get ready with me and also a tutorial just as in what I would do if I had a short amount of time and I had to get ready. Like now. Also, yes, I'm in a hotel. They're kind of like my favorite places to film because the bathrooms are so pretty. Let's get started with my hair. My hair is like, I don't know if you can see this, it's not like perfectly straight anyways, so I think I can kind of work with the texture, but I am <laughs> a little greasy on top, so I'm definitely gonna need some dry shampoo. So I'm gonna be using the IGK First Class. This is a charcoal detox dry shampoo, and I really like this because it doesn't feel sticky in my hair. It also doesn't look white in my hair, which is sometimes an issue with my dark hair. And I also don't feel like it just weighs my hair down. In fact, I feel like this kind of pumps my hair up and gives a little volume, as well as um, making it look not so greasy. So I'm gonna spray this in my hair a generous amount. So I just spray it right at the roots and by the way, you guys, all of IGK hair products smell amazing. I love their dry shampoo line because it literally, I don't even feel like I need perfume what? when I'm using this. And then I've got my curling iron warmed up here. I believe this is like a two inch, maybe it's an, actually an inch and a half. I think it's an inch and a half. Barrel, and I'm essentially just gonna do some loose waves in it. Oh, it smells so good. So fresh, like I wash my hair. <laughs> and I think how I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna wrap this. Nothing too crazy. Just like that. I think you guys get the point. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my camera. I'll come back when my hair is basically finished in a wavy black like soap. As you can see, I've gotten most of my hair kind of waved out. Now for my bangs, this is actually, I don't know about you guys, it's the part where my hair shows the most grease. So this is like where I focus a lot of the dry shampoo. I will go back and like kind of do a little swipe on my forehead to make sure it's not on my skin. Um, for like my makeup and obviously skin purposes. I don't know if you guys can see, but my hair looks clean. Like no product, no white residue, it's not sticky, just perfectly volumized. Now that I've gotten my hair waved out for the most part, as you can see, this is what my hair looks like. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Beach Club, which is a volumizing texture spray from also IGK Hair. This is kind of what I used to hold the hair and piece it up. Smells so good. So essentially, this is lifting at the roots, my first class charcoal detox dry shampoo, and then this is gonna give it texture and kind of piece it up to the bottom. Tom for makeup. I've got my skin all moisturized and prepped for my skincare routine after I got out of the shower. I'm gonna apply a little bit of sunscreen. Even though I'm going out for dinner, I think sunlight's still gonna be out for a good hour or so. <laughs> so I still want to protect my skin. I'm going to be using the Anessa Perfect Facial UV Sunscreen. Kind of hard to rub in. I'm also trying to use it up. <laughs> I'm going to be using this from Joa Beauty. This is the Precision Brow Pencil. I actually really like this. You can see I've worn off the whole label. And um, I use the shade Brunette. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows very quickly. Uniform brows. Now I'm gonna prime my lids using my Etude House Proof 10 Eye Primer. And this is a super easy to work with type of eye primer. Now I brought my Z palette. This has a ton of like Aritam shadows. I've got some NARS here in the bottom. I have some Etude House. We have a mishmash of Korean and Western shadows. I think I'm just gonna stick with like a two-tone. So I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm gonna take a dirty blending brush at that. <laughs> And I'm gonna take this color here. It's roasted coffee cherry. It's part of their cashmere fit eyes. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe she punched herself in the eye. This is like one of my favorite shimmers. It's from NARS. What is this shade? It's this guy here. If you can see, 
like a duochrome shade. It's an earth shine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here. Mm. Ooh, much better. I believe I brought my Cleo Kill Black. Gonna take my pen liner and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes. Gonna stick with my normal eye shape. Um, I usually do a cat eye. It's kind of my staple, so let's go for it. Then we are going to curl our lashes, apply mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys what I'm applying so I can go off camera and do it very quickly because again, I'm in like real lifetime crunch. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara as well as my Shu Uemura Eyelash Curler. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be using just a concealer as my foundation. Essentially, I just want to kind of help out the areas that need a little extra help. Hit some redness, some spots, and under my eyes. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy air cushion and blend everything out. By the way, guys, I've had a bunch of shoots lately, and every single makeup artist, I basically convince them of how amazing air puffs are. I'm like, oh, use a beauty blender? You need to try an air puff. And then I'm just gonna do a teeny tiny bit of powder just on top. I'm a very expressive person, so if I don't set like under my eyes, I definitely will crease. So I'm just taking a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder, hit under my eyes, and then just kind of where I tend to crease with whatever is left on my brush. From there, it's time for bronzer. I'm gonna be using my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Color. This is in number 50. It's like one of my favorite bronzers. Can you see the dip? Yes, admire the dip. Hello. <laughs> Lovely. Do not pack a contour brush. I'll just use this thing. Ooh. Okay. Do I keep going or do I leave it? I think I need help. There we go. I'm using the Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher in the shade Peach Chew Wafer. This is actually probably my favorite shade. It's just very versatile. I'm just gonna literally punch this onto my cheeks. Goes really well with my skin tone too. Highlighter, which is one of my new favorite highlighters. This is Stila's Heaven Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. And I use a brush shaped like this. And this goes on the top of my cheeks. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to use a little bit of a lip color. I think what I'm going to use is, I don't know, maybe this color from a Etude House. So that is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick makeup tutorial. As you guys can see, it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take like a ton of products. You don't have to have like a hundred steps to look amazing. You could even knock, I'm sure, a ton of steps out and look amazing as well. But this is what I would do if I had a short amount of time, I'm trying to get ready and I got to leave like right now. I'm gonna link everything down below as well as the IHK hair products which are now available at Ulta. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>